Here's the box I've been waiting for for a week and a half. My maker bot is here. I'm going to take some photos of unpacking it and building it. Well, here's all the goodies from that big box. Here's the content of the automatic automated build platform. To build that, at least parts of it anyway. There's the shell and parts that uh, make up the gap. There's all the parts for the step strewer. That's the thing that uh, actually prints the plastic. All right, I'm about to assemble the Z stage. Got all the screws, got all the nuts, all the pieces. So here we go. All right, Z stage is done. Look at that. I had to go back to the prep instructions because I missed uh, putting the bearings in, but I got them in now. Okay, I've got the, uh, on the stepper motors, I've got the, the wires taped together. And I've got all the other wires taped together that it tells in the instructions. And I've got idler, which they don't show that it has lots of nuts. And I had to do it twice. And I've got uh, this thing. Ready? Now I gotta find a thumb screw somewhere. Here's the step strudder. Almost assembled. And we've got the X and Y stage done. Moving along. All right, you want to build a maker bot? This is the mess you're going to end up with. Uh, junk. <laughs> I haven't even built the outside yet. We're getting there. Hopefully, tomorrow, since I have the day off, I might be able to get this thing to do something. Okay, now I'm installing the electronics. I've got the uh, other stuff inside the case now, the Z-axis, the Y-axis. All the rods are in place. Still haven't uh, found the instructions on how to build the automatic build platform, but uh, that should, hopefully I'll find that soon. All right, here's the thingomatic nearly fully assembled. The instructions didn't have the automated build platform in there. So I gotta take the uh, blue taped platform back off and build the automated build platform. Then we can start to print. So, getting closer. My MakerBot is actually printing something. I've been working on it for three days. And I finally have something getting printed. It's a freaking miracle. Holy cow, I can't believe it. I've been working on this thing for days. Well, I guess I'll let it uh, print and we'll see what we get the end. Oh, this is exciting. It's printing what's called the raft. That goes under the uh, project you're going to build. I'm just trying to print a 20 millimeter cube just to calibrate and test it. So far so good. Now it's printing the bottom part of the cube. Going pretty fast. It's a little faster than I thought it would be. Oh, now it's printing. Oh, it's printing the walls of the cube, I guess. I have no idea. Grabbed a flashlight, so maybe you can see what it's doing better. I don't know. I guess.
Alright, here's my 3D printer printing TJ a Lego train toy. It's going to be done in uh, 25 minutes. Then I have to print the wheels that go into it, but you can see it's laying down the plastic. So freaking cool, I can hardly stand it. Alright, here's the MakerBot printing the second set of wheels for the Lego style train. Uh, here is the first part. You see it uh, actually has the Lego thing on top and the wheels indeed spin. And I tested it with some Legos and they do attach to those little Lego nubs. So now I just gotta build uh, I guess the rest of the train. Anyway, that's my first print that uh, is actually something that somebody can use, so stay tuned, we'll try and uh, print some more.